Hi everyone and welcome to Snookus, and this is another episode of Swedish Independence here in EU4. So last time we started a war with the Teutonic Order, which you, which you can see we are winning quite easily actually, and we also started um, colonizing Greenland as our, few, as our stepping stone into the greater American continent. So let's just start off here, no reason to dilly-dally. Uh, I think the Brandenburgians wanted some um, military access, but I missed to accept it. We're also gonna royally marry them just to um, increase our chances for a future alliance here. Okay, that's our first loan. Now we're gonna getting negative yearly prestige here, which is unfortunate, but in the future, in the long term, I believe we will gain a lot of prestige from actually exploring and colonizing. Um, yeah, so this is looking good, actually. So, um, uh, so we should have um, an alliance with Brandenburg in the bag by by the end of this war. And when we get here, I'm actually gonna do something that I don't do too often. We're gonna ship over uh, an army of like 3,000 troops, one cav and two infantry, and try to find the golden cities. Uh, uh, well, I would generally not take this option, no reason getting unnecessary uh, revolts here. But I don't have the time or the inclination to actually ship our troops to um, Faröarna to uh, suppress an uprising. So let's let's allow them to be Catholic for now. Could be a lot worse. Um, yeah, I'm sure that's fine. Um, Brandenburg is taking Memel, so um, we could move over here and try to help um, Poland and Lithuania. Um, conquering or to occupy Livonian order. Let's lose some precision. I don't want to lose um, unnecessary stability. Stability always comes first, generally. Prestige. Yeah. <laughs> Peace of Hungary. Okay, let's see what I have to offer, and we should just. Let's just um, keep converting first. Okay, Hungary, what do you have to offer us here? Uh, you will give us money, which we will gain 45 of, and you will also... Um... Okay, so that's it. Let's uh, let's not do that. Sorry, Angry, you are gonna have to do better. We want at least war reps and money. We even got more money by doing this. And we want you to um, end that alliance. We don't want to see a too strong... Actually, I don't really care. We gain prestige money with this, so... And we could give um, Poland some uh, territory. Don't I, they don't seem to approve of it though, so maybe not. We we still don't want to make Poland too strong either. Um, because in the long term, you know, we, we're probably gonna keep them as an ally as long as possible. They might, for some reason or another, uh, decide to turn on us. And in that uh, case, we don't want them to be too much of an adversary. So now, where should we um, explore now? How about the South Atlantic? This area here, trying to get the more um, decisive uh, information. Okay, so the Teutons uh, want out, and we're gonna uh, go along with that soon. We're just gonna finish off this fight with the Livonians first. And here's a, here's a thought I've had, is possibly vassalizing the Livonians, maybe we do have the, uh, the relationship slot, so it's an idea. Um, we'll see. Again, <laughs> really? Well, we're not going to do that either. Um, especially since Poland aren't in a, in a position to help us, so let's let them turn Catholic again. And the clergy is furious, let's support them and they, they'll they be happy again. Some contributions from um, the burghers. I 
let's do this first and gain them some influence. And then we can do this and gain more money. Or maybe we do this. No, we can't. Well, if we do that, we can do this. So. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. We can do this as well. Just to um, maximize all our um, all we can do over here in the new world. We don't need manpower. We can't do anything else. So fine. Um, yep. Yeah, let's maximize our global settlers, as I said. Try to gain as many colonial states as possible. Deck war is on again, but it's not gaining any progress. Um, as soon as we're up to 100, we're going to take the church power idea, which gives us more settlers. Here we go, the regular uh, uprising that we were waiting for anyway. If we... I'm actually going to siege down Letgalen, and hopefully Lit the Lithuanians are going to move to... We can't actually see what they're doing, but hopefully they're going to move down to uh, Griefland. Griefswald and uh, take out the separatists. I know that I actually gained one, 10 more years of separatism here, but in, um, in the long term that's not gonna matter at all. So I'm fine with that. Okay, so Bohemia is pretty much all um, fully converted now. We, I seem to, I think we've uh, gained Munster as well, and we are gaining some miners here. And um, one province miners that is. Okay, so let's um this is how much we got to barely anything. So let's go to um maybe the Caribbean now. Try to uh, see the most important provinces in all of America pretty much during this era. And it's it's probably a um, colonial region which we're gonna want to colonize at least some so that we can either pi privatize, use privateers to um, steal gold from the Spanish and the Portuguese or actually have our own, uh, own gold generating holdings. So we'll see. We can gain some church power and gain tolerance of true faith and church power 10% uh, buff. Or we can uh, lose administrative tech with admin points. We're not gonna do that one. Or we could do this one. This one is kind of uh, kind of interesting um, since we would get some admin points, but they don't want the national arrest. So we're gonna do this one. And I mean, I know that means some provinces are gonna gain some extra unrest, but. I'm sure that's fine, it's only really Danzig that's a problem, and that's not even our province. Lithuania took care of our rebels, so that was very nice of them, I approve, wholly. Extra globe, global settlers increase, 15, uh, 15 buff there, so that's nice, now we should um, gain a lot here. Let's take a look at our Eriks Fjord uh, colony, 55 per year, that's amazing. Uh, that means we're gonna gain um, all of Greenland pretty quickly here, and the trade buff that comes with, that comes with it. Um, Hungary still is um, yeah pretty low in war score there, so we'll, let's start off with the Livonian order. We can't vassalize them, so let's not trade power instead might be better since uh, they are in the Baltic in the Baltic region after all and let's do this so we don't have to fight Moscovy in any future wars and let's do this then we maybe we can I don't know I'll think about that one uh, money we'll get 17 that's something and then we can take us a even if we want to and you know what let's let's do it it's not um, Empire territory anyway, so we won't get um, that particular debuff and all. So yeah, let's do it. 
Uh, only the woman. Yep. Here we go. And if we have to, we can always ship over an army to suppress any revolts. We're still behind on our great power status. But I'm sure that's gonna change as soon as we get Danzig and Stettin. Now we're just waiting for Poland to get... Uh, to take their... Um, to take the Hungarian capital. Unfortunately, they moved away, so now they have to start all over. Let's lose some church power then. I'm gonna lower our fort maintenance. We don't have any enemies that uh, actually can um, penetrate our territory anyway, so we don't have to fund them. There's no real reason. Hopefully they'll uh, get this siege done quickly. Oh, you're right. Our Brandenburg alliance is going steadily forward. Let's top off some relation with England here. And... Yeah, we should do as well with the same with Poland. Just to make sure that they don't uh, get too pissed off by this peace deal. We're gonna give them... Okay, so now the reformation started. We're gonna give Poland every territory that we can so we keep them happy. But we're not gonna give them more than necessary. Uh, the reformation started here in Frankfurt. So it's gonna spread from the west central Germany here. And through all of... Europe hopefully converting some big nation like France or not Papal State but maybe Savoy or um, yeah that's that's the big ones right now aren't they yeah or hopefully like England would be nice too we'll see right this um, how much are we gaining from taxes quite a lot so. And it, but it only lasts one year. Uh, I'm not gonna count it out. So that's sure. Let's take that. Boost our income a bit. Okay, now the war with Hungary is pretty much over. Let's wait to the end of the month here to get that tick. Ooh, I'm glad I waited. That extra money will uh, will do well uh, over in my coffers. Okay, so uh, Sheppes, Schweppes will uh, won't be uh, Polish territory. It could be if we wanted to, but I don't see the need. Yeah, especially since the Poland doesn't seem to want it. Okay, so yeah, let's do it like this. We will gain some prestige even. Now let's see how many, how much we gain every month here. Right, we can do it if we... We will gain half a ducat in reps every month. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Stettin and Danzig are for us. Poland won't care, actually. So let's see. They, they won't... They can take these two. Of course, I could give them some more. Do I want any more territory? I don't think so. Not right now, anyway. You know what? Let's give them these two areas. Let's take that. those for us. Let's done some war ups and uh, any money they, that, it, that they can afford. We won't gain any coalition except for the two chunks, but if we do take any more territory, we will gain an, uh, a coalition, so let's not. Okay, so this seems fine. We will gain Danzig and Stettin. And Poland will gain Ermland and um, Österade. And we will also gain some 
money and stuff. So that sounds uh, great, I think. This um, Danzig addition will do well for our Baltic trade. Inspiring victory, nice. Control Estonia. So, who are you allied with? Riga. And by doing this we gain Baltic ambitions, which gives us more trade efficiency for 10 years time. And the alternative is taking this one, which gives us one extra base production. I'm, I'm kind of, I don't actually think, I actually think we're gonna take this one, since it's not gonna turn into a colonial nation. We're gonna keep it from for all, the rest of the game. So you know what? Let's do that one. It's basically a. Let's see how much it costs to develop. We can't actually see, but uh, if we take a comparable. Uh, comparable uh, province it costs like yep 50 almost 60 um, monarch points to develop the province so we can see it as a buff of about 60 admin points or monarch points in general and uh, let's not forget to do that one that um, coring our new additions here and also giving them some autonomy so they don't whine too long that's pretty much it and uh, now we didn't actually gain any war exhaustion. That's amazing. And now we're, we kept our status as a great power. Always a great thing. New advisor. Uh, colonial range won't be needed now since we do have uh, a new cord area which will give us larger distance that we can uh, colonize. Um, more than that, we could get some moral of armies. Doesn't really help us. Um, Trade efficiency um, isn't the worst of ideas, and we will also gain two extra Diplo points. So let's go with that one, I think. What did I do? <laughs> I retired it, didn't I? <laughs> Fuck me. Alright, uh, let's go with Diplo points then. I guess. I think only the, the, the extra Diplo power um, is worth it by itself, but I would like that extra trade buff anyway trade wise how are we looking we have we have a strong mono monopolistic position here in the baltic sea trade node um so that i appreciate uh we're still gonna move down to um, the lubeck trade node in the future as soon as we've gotten a few more holdings there now we have Sterin, which will give us a bit of a buff here in lubeck we can actually see that we are Nowhere near the top, but uh, we're getting there at least. Our colony is steadily, develop steadily developing, so that's nice. Right, then we can move over to Poland. Let's see how Brandenburg fares in the war before we ally them. I don't want to ally a too weak of a nation here and be unnecessarily dragged into wars. And as you can see, the Teutons are split up by the middle here. We've also gain, given um, the Polish um, a port here. Where, so hopefully in the, in the future war they will actually have many, a few ships to help us out. But now as I said, let's improve relations with Poland. And uh, let's, let's repay the loan we will need. We can do it now, so okay. And as soon as we have... Um, Okay, so that's done. Caribbean Sea coast. Uh, sure, yeah, we discovered pretty much all of it, so let's go with that. Um, as I said... What was, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, when we have saved up some money, we're gonna expand our trade fleet a bit. Possibly even getting um, a heavy ship. Okay, so this is pretty nice, actually. We can either get... 50 populations in um, Eirix Fjord, which is here, or we can gain 200 setters here. And I'm gonna go with this one, um, simply because Eirix Fjord is gonna be uh, a fully developed colony soon anyway, within the year or two, I think. And even though this is gonna uh, drain our coffers a bit, uh, since going over the colonial limit does that, um, 
we should be able to afford it soonish, soonish enough. And we are actually... Okay, we, we're losing quite a lot. So let's see if we can remedy that by doing this. Maybe even firing this advisor I just got. Well, that was a waste, but I'm sure we got a few months of extra Diplo points. Hey, would you look at that. That's the end of this episode. Um, so I think we've uh, done pretty well for ourselves here. Uh, we've, um, we're actually going to ally. Yeah, I'm, I think we're going to ally the, two, uh, the Brandenburgians next episode anyway. Um, yeah, we won this war. We, our colonial ventures are going smoothly. We're, uh, we're one of the most active colonial, colonial colonizers. Don't actually see any Portuguese colony anywhere, or I might actually. This might. These might be. No, that's just a map. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, down here is Portuguese. Uh, the Portuguese colonists. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna start rambling now. Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you next time. Please leave a like and all that jazz. So have a nice day. Bye.